why do you do art? What art do you do? Art for me is a way of expressing myself. A way of expressing myself. And it's a way of telling to the world that these are the things I think and I see. And whether you want it or you don't want it, it's up to you, but this is how I am. It's just a way of my own individuality. You are individual? Yes. And uh, art for me is a way of uh, showing my spiritual side and uh, how people are so into a lot of logical side in their life and the materialistic art is something that brings out a whole place where you so, uh, where you combine your thoughts, your emotions, your own self and you express it. So yeah, art is something that I really enjoy doing. So you are self -taught? Yes, I am self -taught. So how it all started? I started when I was alive then. I went to study there. And uh, COVID, it was, I know it, COVID had a very big impact on the situation where people were depressed. And I started out with mandala. Mandala art is a way that, uh, for example, it's something that breaks patterns and breaks patterns. So that's how I started and it was very healing. And then I started, really started using paints, I started with black spears and then I started incorporating um, a lot of different sites, mediums and we have uh, come to start. And I'm still exploring all the other sites where I'm trying to make it other exterior. I'm using clay, sculptures, um, some uh, threads, a lot of other things into it and I'm very in getting uh, installations as well. So basically you want to do an abstract mode? Yeah, abstract as an art and mixed media. Okay. So, uh, fun, so you can just decide one by one of these four. Oh. So I really focus on um, the transformations that I had in the past couple of years. The transformation that I've been through and also like bringing a dynamic balance between universe and the uh, and, and universe. Universe in the sense like uh, super consciousness, consciousness and inner consciousness. And I like to that's the only way I can connect and understand and interpret the paradoxes of life. And uh, we I think we all come into paradoxes. We all have we are a contradiction all by itself. And uh, what you have what we have been doing is we are trying to separate because everything makes it one, is what I think. What transformation you are talking about? I am talking about uh, uh, this is something, this is called liquid. Liquid, I will say it caves and waterfalls. Caves are, uh, in, as my perspective, caves are your ego, where you hide your things, where you hide your fears, your desires, your passions. And uh, we often want to stay in because of various reasons and we don't want to come out at all and it's just a reminder that if you can come out and look how look at how beautiful the world is it's like you're liberating yourselves out of all the fears and pains and finally going ahead straight in life and uh, this is called I have woman and uh, this is a stage where I have been told I have been told that I am a very soft person and a very vulnerable person and sensitive person and I came to a conclusion that society only wants to see that side of it. But it's just that we have two sides too. We have two sides too. And that it is, it's just a statement saying that we can be sensitive, we can be fierce as well. We can be delicate, we can be wild as well. And we need to embrace both sides and find a balance to use well. Yeah, according to consequences. So much love. Yeah. Yes, it is a piece where I came to a realization that I am not. So many realizations. Yes, transformations. Like I would say, I had a very great spiritual awakening during the COVID time. Oh. Yes. And uh, this is a place where I felt like I was a very small bit in the world. Now I feel like I'm the universe myself. So there you can find out all the elements. There's a flow of energy that is connecting your inner consciousness to the universe, and you can find all uh, fire, water, air, earth, and space.
would you have to raise the second last day? Uh, how you felt till now? Uh, how is your experience? Uh, I would say uh, this is my third exhibition as of now. And uh, this is one of the best exhibitions that I've done. And uh, I just want to say I'm very happy with the opportunity that I got. And you guys have done a really good job. Thank you. Thank you, Pooja. We wish you all the best Thank and good luck for you. Thank you.